sis what's up welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome hey girl thank you so much for clicking on today's video so we're going to be doing a review on this wig that i have on right here right now we did a little something we just added some dark root um but yeah if you want to know all of the specs and the deets just keep on watching <laughs> Okay, so this wig was sent to me from Beauty Forever Hair. And look at their cute holiday packaging. Um, they sent me all of these headbands too. Like, I'm really grateful for that. You can never have too many headbands. So, they sent a gray one that has like that bow detail. A mustard one. A bandana kind of blue one. They also sent a um, burgundy-ish bandana kind of um, headband. And then the bejeweled one. And also a cap and a cute little holiday bracelet it's so cute it got like christmas charms i think that's really really cute um yeah so the wig is a middle part it says um in the description that it's a four by four fake scalp um and as you can see it does have the fake scalp uh this one the fake scalp on this is not as noticeable because we know the fake scalp is just purposeless but on this one, it's really not as noticeable. And you'll see. Um, but yeah, so I got 20 inches in this wig. And the color looks beautiful. So it has a comb on each side, a comb in the back. And it has um, adjustable straps as well. Now the side of it has like the lace. So if you wanted to lace some baby hairs, you could. But it also has like the hair like kind of underneath the cap so you don't see any cap you just see hair if the wind will blow and i really like that now the fake scalp portion it has tracks so like it probably gives you a half of an inch of a part and then it's tracks um so yeah now we are going to darken the roots because you all know the way my hairline is set up i cannot just have a color from the root down like it has to have some dark root for me so i'm just kind of adding some rinse it's literally not even like as in depth i'm just adding it around like the top portion like the part like around the part and then around like the edges um because if the wind blow i wanted you to see black roots as well but i didn't like part nothing off and like go underneath like no i just basically did what was on the top and it actually came out really nice like you'll see it doesn't look like i did it the way that i did it because you know like you would need to kind of like part it lift the other hair up put some under there part it lift the other hair up i wasn't doing all that okay <laughs> so um but it doesn't look like i did like a half job you know it looks good so yeah i'm just adding that like i said to like the roots and then um around the sides as well and then i let that sit um and i like as you can see like the hair is dry i don't know if you even supposed to do this but i like to add rinse to dry hair <laughs> i don't like to uh wet the hair in that a lot of rinse um i feel like it doesn't really um, take good i don't know maybe i'm wrong i'm sure i am anyways so yeah i'm just like i said adding the rinse and i think i let this sit um for maybe like 10 hours um because i went to sleep <laughs> and i was making sure to like use the brush to turn it the other way to like make sure i kind of get in there at least a little bit um, especially where I seen red, I was like, you know, doing that. And this is what it looks like. We're going to let it sit and then rinse it out and wash it. Okay. So here is the finished product of the darkening of the roots. This is what she looks like. Like this color looks really, really good. Like I like it. It's not too bright. Like, you know what I'm saying? It goes well with the dark roots. It looks very good. And so look, as I said, like this has the four by four, like lace kind of silk part situation right here, but it's tracks all throughout. Like is where the first track starts and it's tracks all the way down. 
So this is where the first track starts and then it's tracks like all the way down in this little silk base parting like um like that and then it's tracks so you only get to have a middle part um you could shift the wig to the left or to the right if you wanted to but as far as parting space you don't get that parting space and i don't know why they advertise this as a four by four because although it has like this space of four by four you only really have this set like part right here um it's not really any parting space okay there we go now she's fitting snug I adjusted the straps and there we have it I am getting some shedding as I'm running my fingers through it got some shedding nothing too crazy and y'all know me I don't really care too much about the shedding so let's see how she looks shifted to the side Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to wear it like this for a little bit and then I'll probably straighten it out. I might add some curls to it. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but you'll see because it's literally the next clip. Here we have, I added a little bit of a wine curl, very like sparse and not really structured because um, I just wanted to add some texture and I flipped her over to the side and I love it like this like to the side into the side part i think the side part with the red looks really really cute i would take this off and just have like the black and white moment because i think that'll look best with like the hair and maybe when i take my pictures i will but it's cold okay so i'm keeping this on i'll show you a close-up look at the part two i originally did my edges to have the part in the middle so you know but so let me tell you what I really like about these types of wigs that have just kind of like the lace part and not necessarily like the 13 by 4 frontal or you know what I'm saying. I think that for people like me, it's very, very quick and simple because I don't usually do too much laying of the frontals anyway. Like I kind of wear a middle part or a side part. Um, so this wig is pretty easy in the sense that like you can literally wash it let it dry straighten it or curl it whatever you want to do and then cut the lace off and pop it on like you know what i'm saying it's pretty quick and simple it's a very easy type of a wig especially for like beginners you know like my edge situation so i had to add the dark roots but this really is a pop on and go type of a wig um after co-washing and stuff like that of course but like this wig is and then even in its natural state it still looks really pretty y'all know a lot of straight wigs when you wash them they kind of like in their natural form they got a slight wave to them which is really pretty regular like you know regular color but also too in this color it looked really pretty as you see hair quality is good it's not like super great but it's not bad either yeah, like i definitely think that if you like what you see um i do believe that this wig is on the expensive side though like i'm not exactly sure about the price point but i'll put it on the screen so yeah if you like what you see and you're interested in the color or whatever the case may be i will leave all of the links down in the description box for you to check it out and once again thank you so much to beauty forever hair for sending me over this wig i truly appreciate it yeah so that's a wrap give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it okay drop that in the comments and let me know what you thought of today's video of today's wig and subscribe if you are new if you have not yet subscribed please take the time to do so now i would really 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 appreciate it okay and i hope you enjoy the rest of your week your weekend whatever it may be peace and blessings